Hi everyone and welcome back to our Fallout New Vegas Desert Ranger Survivalist playthrough. We are here in beautiful Zion Valley and we're still continuing with the Father in the Caves quest. So I have some exciting news guys. So, uh, oh, oh, sorry, guy scared me. Well, um, I'll take care of him. So, as I loaded into the game today, and you can see this pile of junk here, I got a bunch of stuff added to my inventory. And as I mentioned way, way, way back at the beginning of this playthrough, um, I got this game probably about a week after it came out. And I bought all the DLCs as they came out. So I didn't, like, have... Um, what's it called? So I didn't have... I'm just seeing if I dropped anything of value or any flame or fuel. I'll take that. Um, so I got everything, and the day it came out, essentially, and bought it piecemeal. So I never got the Game of the Year edition, which I know came with some extra stuff. Like this, what? Like, well, this weather, this armored Vault 13 jumpsuit, which is a reference to Fallout 1, and this weathered 10 millimeter pistol. And I just got to say, I don't know who did it. Obsidian, Microsoft, all of the above, none of the above. But I got to say, I love it. I got all this stuff added in, and after 10 years, it's like, hey, thanks for thinking about the guys who uh, got your product the very first time they could. Alright. So yeah, loading in today, I was really, really, really excited to see that. Like I, I don't know, I was just I was actually giddy with excitement. It was it was it was really fun. You're like, hey, we're not for God. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little sneaky sneaky thing, and there's actually a door back here to do the father and the <laughs> Oof! And we got hit by one of the bear traps. <laughs> Happens. Why we got stuff like healing paltries? Yeah. yeah. Of course, it's a hard lock. There you go. That was easy. And welcome to our survivalist cache area. Yeah, he had so much high tech stuff. Let's see, what can I craft? It's been a while. Nice, I can still make some rushing water. Which is really nice anytime you get into a tight spot. Alright. So, um. Ooh, bobby hens. Now I have plenty, but I always want more. Ooh, that must have been the last one. Yeah, 180 XP. That's cool, stealth boy. You know. Nice. This is my 50th challenge, too. There we go. They're making that easy for me. Alright. Year 2097, so 20 years after the bombs fell. January 13th. The coffers, referring to Vault 22's residents. Are finally gone, all 34 that lived, ate their dead for strength, then struck out southeast. Uh, victory, ten months of killing, all I feel is empty. They deserved every bit of it. January 17th, thought I was dreaming, but the screams, they were real. For a moment, I thought uh, they'd tricked me, pretend to leave Zion, and then send a patrol to track me down. But the screams, they were a woman's. I edged around the corner into the passageway uh, have to have a look. Uh, one vaulter, ankle deep in a bear trap. I leveled my SMG, uh, but the way she was crying stopped me. Uh, how scared she was when she saw me. I've been their boogeyman for a very long time. Her name's Sylvie. Claims she ran away from the group. Calls them evil people, children of the devil. Turns out they were they were sick after all. Something they caught in the vault uh, they lived in. Yet she never came down with it. Parentheses yet. So help me, I've wound up being her nurse. January 18th. 
Her story matches what I learned from my interrogations last year, but according to her, let's just say it was bad to be a woman in that group. So when they left, she slipped away. She knows next to nothing about living on the outside and says she wants to learn. Alright, that was the end of that. So three years later, you're 2100. September 9th. Never been so scared in my life. Canada wasn't scary, just sickening. The criminality of it. Yeah, you don't get very many uh, references to the American occupation of Canada, but it seems brutal. The end of the world wasn't scary. When I knew you and Alex were dead, I didn't have anything left to be scared about. I just left, I just kept on going for some reason. Or just went on for some reason. There we go. I wasn't scared of fighting the Vaulters. I wasn't like, I, I was, it was like I kept daring them to finish me. When I killed them, I think it was the closest time I came to feeling happy in years. Sylvie is pregnant and I'm terrified. Ridiculous old man, a father again at 47 in this world? She's so excited and so trusting. Says it's God's will we had this child like nothing can go wrong. You see, Chair, she doesn't know about you or Alex. Never told her. Almost did sometimes. But what you and I had, it seems wrong to share it. More like an old man not wanting his young wife to know he failed uh, the ones who came before her. Hiking to Tokerville this uh, weekend, looking for medical books and supplies. This will have to be done, right? I'm sorry, Chair. Hope you can forgive me. 2100, so the next year after that. March 5th. Baby was breech. Would have been a son, Michael. Best I did my best to turn him. Failed. Must have done, done the cesarean too late. Had to put Sylvie out. She never woke up. Buried them both in the narrows. South of the Narrows. Well, this time I was by their side. So much better. Think I can finally do it. Blow my brains all over this cave. Yeah, that's depressing. Alright, so that's it for this cave's lore. And yeah, I really like... It's depressing, but I really like this story. I genuinely think it's like one of the... Ah best things you can get in Fallout. Like, I really think they worked their time on it. And I really like the texture models of this uh, weathered 10 millimeter pistol. It does look like grayer. The finishes have worn off. Alright, so let's move on to the next cave, which I believe we, I've already done for a quest, but I did not read the terminals. So I don't think we'll have to be sneaking around here. Like I did for the last one. Because I actually bypassed about, I'd say 80% of the cave. There's a pretty big gunfight. I just didn't bother with and did the back way. Huh. Morning Glory Cave. Usually there's a way up. Alright, an ammunition box. I'll take it. Well, clearly I missed that. <laughs> Ow. Alright, right, there's nothing that way. Huh. I found a second little area I did not notice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Duffel bag. Morning glory cash key. I wonder where that is. Ah, uh, okay. So there must be a locked door somewhere. Alright, well, that was neat. Hmm. Alright, let's check the local map. Yeah, I thought it was... Was it that way? Yeah. Yeah, I just missed that ramp up. Yeah, I thought I went through all the little traps in here. That looks like I didn't bother getting rid of everything. I think I have multiple metal armors, so let me use those to repair each other, and we're good. Funny how that works. Alright, so 2108, so seven years after the last 
terminal. August 22nd. Ten tracks, ten sets of tracks, half half mile northeast of Canyon entrance. Barefoot question mark. August twenty third. Saw them through the scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dementia maybe. I'm not crazy. They're real. They are. They're they're real. Uh, rushed me the moment uh, moment they saw me snarling, looking like animals. They looked like corpses, but don't smell rotted. Oh, he must have found ghouls. I'll be putting them out of their misery, doing for them what I can never do for myself. September 3rd, the last of them, all gone. So a group of feral ghouls must have moved in the area. All right, 21-13, February 5th. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur. Happy birthday to me. All right, I love that little cute little jingle. Depressing, but hey, he's living this long. Happy 60th. When do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of uh, whiskey and a 12 gauge slug through the roof and the mouth? Woo, come, come on now. Uh, what have I got to prove to myself? I've lived this long, long enough. I'm a shriveled old man, white beard, seeing enough sunrises and sunsets. Saw the big sunset and have been hanging on through the long night 36 years now. Uh, I like calling it the long night. Yeah, that's what it probably would feel like. Ridiculous. Not kidding myself. There's anything on the other side. Fine. Things weren't so bad. Uh, uh, things weren't so bad before I was born. Uh, Char and Alex and Sylvie. Michael, who could have been. Thoughts of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zion. February 6th. Couldn't do it. Coward as usual, maybe two bottles next year. All right, 21-23. April 25th, 24 of them, half boys, half girls. Youngest is maybe eight, oldest is 13, 14. Dirty, scrawny, been on foot for a long time. A children's crusade. I never caught that reference, but there actually was a children's crusade in the Middle Ages, but it's a nice reference there, guys. Uh, struck camp uh, nearly in the same spot as the Los Mexicanos 30 years and a lifetime ago. I said two nights listening to them, English, literate, one of them read stories while the little ones fall asleep. They say someplace they called the school. Can't figure out where it was. Um... When they want the little ones to behave, they say, the principal will get you. The principal better not show up or I'll blow his head off. I can still shoot straight. I just want to make sure. Yeah, got everything on this log. Alright, so I believe there's one other log. It's actually not in a location I have explored. So, is that healing poultry? I need to get aid for that. That would help. Those healing poultries are really nice. Like, really good reason to get survival. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend it. Alright, so we're getting another cave. So the last place we need to go is some place to the far south that name is escaping me but I do remember how to how and where to get to it. Alright. Gonna go back to the Two Skies Cave or was one of the early caves for uh, our little story here. And I believe it is down the river a bit. So we're gonna head that way. I believe it's at the top of this promontory. So, oh wow, this is really pretty. At least I think it's pretty. Yeah. Well, I wonder if there's something to discover over here. Maybe it's, maybe this boat's got some good loot. Red Rapids docks. Hey, purified water. Yeah, fell through the. It fell right through the boat. That's okay. All right. 
No idea how to get up there. Oh, I think you get up the ramp over here. No? No, I'm just insane. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out sometime. Let's see if I can get it. Yes. Alright, the red gate. Yeah, this will get me to the right spot. Hey. Okay. So... The last holotape should be around here somewhere, but I don't want to take too much time to get... Okay. Ah, oh, easy. Let's look around here. Alright, it's not around here. Ah! There he is. Survivalist duffel bag. I guess this is where he came to rest. Probably looking for a sunset. Ooh, the survivalist rifle. It's a 12.7 millimeter rifle. That's fun. Ooh, combat knife. Ooh, old cowboy hat. I'm switching that. And then the year 2124. So one year after the last bits of miscellaneous area. Oh yeah, well, that is quite a bit of years. Alright. January 2nd. I've been leaving notes for them and gifts. Uh, they like the books. Started on stories uh, and moved on to weapons manuals, medical books, practical stuff. Uh, in the notes, well, it's almost, it's embarrassing, almost like those cards people used to give each other. Everything's sweet and loving. I tell them to read and learn to make the most of their new home. I tell them I'm giving them Zion as a gift to make up for all the sorrows of their lives. So, oh, I guess that's where the sorrows came from. Uh, so far, and uh, all the sorrows the man has visited upon man. I tell them to be kind to each other and to be modest. Uh, I tell them to never hurt each other, but that if someone comes along to try to hurt them, strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. I sign every note with the father, because Joel just because. Uh, January 28th. Have I mentioned I'm dying? Um, mine's still sharp. Lungs are the problem. Might be cancer. Coughs have been getting worse for months. Uh, finally getting blood in there. Uh, getting harder to visit my little friends. Breasts so short. I've given away most of what I owned. They'll find the rest in the caves when they get a little older. I don't want them to find me, though. The uh, father broken down. An old man disappointed. Time for it. It's time. I don't want another birthday. It's cold enough that I won't last on the high ground up to next red gate. I think I've got just enough to, uh, breath in me to make it there. I'll just lie down and stare at the night sky. Feels right. Yeah, fair enough. The night sky is really, really pretty. Like, out in the southwest. Like, cannot begin to actually describe it to you unless you've seen it. It is incredibly pretty. And I don't blame him for choosing that way. I hope they'll do well. I hope no harm comes to them from within or without. Did my best to prepare them with the last few notes. Said something kind about each of them. What makes each one unessential. Told that their father is pleased by their kind natures. And that they would be uh, up to them to handle their things on, on their own from now. And that I'd be watching them silently. But I'd still be watching and still caring. Lying then. Oh yes. Lied to you Char and Alex and Sylvie. Told you I'd be with you forever. But I wouldn't. Go back and unsay it once if I could. What was the point of it all? So many failures. I never forgot your face. Or a little nuts. Sorry. Or or Sylvie. Um, they used to say what happened before. They used to say what happened after a while, but it never did for me. Um, maybe the only point of all this living was to keep those pictures in my head going for as long as I could. It was the only life I could give you. Not a day went by without. It wasn't a choice. I chose to die again and again. I just never did. Body had its own drive. 
Well, the little ones will need it. Species that will, uh, uh, species will need it if it's continue on that blind drive, that blind drive onward. I wish them all well. It's been a gift to me to see them, uh, see them at the end of all of it, to behold the innocence. Goodbye, Zion. Randall Dean Clark. February 5th, January 53 to January 21, 24. You know, I don't think I've ever actually, I had to go on the Wikipedia to actually look this up. I have never read that. And like, wow, that was quite the send off. Like, wow. And he really did choose like quite the, quite the view spot. Like, I gotta say, he really, really did a good job with that. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here. And until then, uh, until the next time, I hope you guys have a good one. Uh, Vintage Fan Gaming is signing off for the day.